Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI. Today we will be discussing the Securities and Exchange Board of India also known as SEBI. SEBI is arguably the best known regulatory body in India. It is responsible for overseeing the securities market in India. It was established on April 12, 1992 through the SEBI Act 1992 and its headquarters is located in Mumbai. SEBI's functions include regulating the issuance and trading of securities, regulating the functioning of stock exchanges, registering and regulating the activities of market intermediaries, promoting investor education and awareness, and investigating and enforcing actions against market manipulation and insider trading. It has played a crucial role in transforming India's securities market, making it more transparent, efficient and investor-friendly. It has also introduced several reforms to strengthen corporate governance practices, enhance market integrity and promote investor protection. SEBI believes that informed investors are the backbone of a healthy securities market and hence it promotes investor education and awareness through various initiatives such as investor education programs workshops and seminars. SEBI has been successful in regulating the securities market in India and ensuring that investors' interests are protected. It has introduced several measures to promote fair practices, transparency and integrity in the securities market. SEBI's organizational structure and current chairman, all you need to know. Madhvi Puri Burj took over as the SEBI chairman from March 2022. SEBI has seven board members including the chairman, who is nominated by the Union Government of India. Two members are from the Union Finance Ministry and one member is from the Reserve Bank of India. The remaining members are nominated by the Union Government of India. SEBI has to be responsive to three main groups that make up the securities market. The issuer of securities, the investors and the market intermediaries. SEBI has its head office in Mumbai and regional offices in New Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai and Ahmedabad. It currently has four full-time members and four part-time members. Laws and Acts Behind India's Market Regulator In addition to the SEBI Act, SEBI also derives its powers from three other laws. The Companies Act 2013, the Securities Contracts Regulation Act 1956 and the Depositories Act 1996. While the Companies Act deals with the governance of Indian companies, it also covers primary issuances and aspects of listed company governance with SEBI administers. The SCRA defines securities and securities contracts and governs licensing and affairs of stock exchanges. The Depositories Act regulates depositories and depository participants. SEBI has issued regulations under each of these laws defining registration and reporting requirements for intermediaries and penalties for misconduct. These primary objective protecting investor interests and promoting securities market development in India. SEBI achieves its objectives by regulating the securities market in India and ensuring its smooth functioning. It regulates the activities of various market intermediaries such as stock brokers, mutual funds and portfolio managers, among others. SEBI aims to promote the interests of investors in securities by enforcing rules and regulations related to disclosures, transparency and fair practices. SEBI understands that informed investors are essential for a healthy securities market. Therefore, it promotes investor education and awareness through various initiatives such as investor education programs, workshops and seminars. This helps investors to make informed decisions and ensure that they are not misled, defrauded or exploited by unscrupulous market players. It also aims to promote the development of the securities market in India by introducing new products, improving market infrastructure and encouraging more companies to raise capital through securities market. In summary, SEBI's purpose is to ensure the fair and transparent functioning of the securities market in India and to protect the investors' interest. SEBI has been successful in regulating the securities market in India and ensuring that investors' interests are protected. SEBI's three key powers to ensure fairness and accountability in Indian securities market. To help discharge its obligations, SEBI has been entrusted with powers that give it the authority to create such an environment. Its most important powers for 
fall into three categories quasi judicial powers quasi executive powers and quasi legislative powers quasi judicial powers allow sebi to conduct hearings and deliver judgments in cases of fraud or other unethical practices in the indian securities market this helps to ensure fairness transparency and accountability in the securities market quasi executive powers give sebi the authority to make rules pass judgments and take appropriate legal action against the violators sebi also has the authority to examine the books of accounts and other documents in order to gather evidence quasi legislative powers allow sebi to create guidelines rules and regulations for the protection of investor interests sebi has made regulations to ensure that disclosure requirements trading regulations and listing obligations are met sebi's regulatory framework for mutual funds guidelines we need to know in addition to this sebi has put in place rules to make sure that fraud and other mal practices do not take place in the market sebi has set guidelines for monitoring and managing mutual funds in india these guidelines fall under the securities and exchange board of india regulations 1996 for a company to set up a mutual fund it must first be established as a separate asset management company and have a fair value of rupees 50 lakh The trustees of these AMCs ensure that the mutual funds comply with these guidelines. We will shortly do some videos on how SEBI regulates the AMCs and how does the mutual fund industry operate. SEBI's role in transforming and strengthening the Indian capital market. SEBI plays a crucial role in the development of the Indian capital market. The Indian capital market is a significant source of financing for Indian companies and provides investors with an opportunity to invest their money and earn returns. It has introduced several reforms that have strengthened the Indian capital market and made it more transparent, efficient and investor friendly. These reforms have helped increase investors' confidence in the market leading to increased participation and investment. SEBI has implemented various regulations and guidelines to improve corporate governance practices, enhance market integrity and promote investor protection. It has also taken several initiatives to increase the transparency and accountability of listed companies and market intermediaries. One of the significant achievements of SEBI is the establishment of the National Stock Exchange (NSE) and the Bombay Stock Exchange (BSC). These exchanges have become important platforms for company to raise capital and for investors to trade securities. SEBI has also introduced electronic trading and dematerialization of securities, making trading faster, more secure, and more efficient. SEBI has also played a crucial role in introducing new investment products such as exchange traded funds (ETFs), real estate investment trusts, and infrastructure investment trusts. These investment products have opened up new investment avenues for investors and have provided companies with alternative sources of financing. We will occasionally cover various actions of SEBI to regulate the market, its new notifications and guidelines and new products in the Indian securities market. Some of the recent initiatives of SEBI include a new ESG reporting called Core Business Responsibility and Sustainability Reporting (BRSR) and formulated specific measures for ESG investing. SEBI has given its approval for the application supported by blocked amount ASBA facility. SEBI announced a bunch of measures on 29th March 2023 to improve the securities market and doing business in India easier. One of the most significant measures approved is a framework similar to ASBA for secondary market trading. Another exciting move by SEBI is that they have approved some amendments to SEBI mutual funds regulations 1996 strengthening existing eligibility criteria for sponsors and introducing an alternative route for diverse entities. We will discuss these and some other recent measures in our forthcoming videos on recent changes in securities law and another on new initiatives of SEBI. All these measures are incredibly positive and will have a long term impact on the securities market in India. Overall, SEBI has been instrumental in transforming the Indian capital market and making it more investor friendly. Its regulations, guidelines and initiatives have helped increase investor confidence, improve market efficiency and transparency and enhance the overall development of the Indian capital market. The stock market is a critical indicator of a country's economic health. and losing faith in it can have significant consequences this is where sebi steps in to ensure that the interests of investors are protected before sebi came into existence many scams and mal practices took place in the indian stock market including the famous harshad mehta scam however since sebi has taken over stock market affairs have become healthier and more transparent though there have been some instances of fraud such as the ketan scam its regulations are updated regularly and the frequency of scams and mal practices in the indian capital market has reduced significantly over time 
SEBI continues to work towards being more and more stringent with its authority to protect the investor's interest and create a transparent environment in the securities market. SEBI today is considered one of the most effective and responsive regulators of the securities market globally.